All right, let's figure out how to do a couple things today. Here's what we're doing today. This guy. So this is referred to as an infrared line following sensor most of the time, but it's actually an infrared detector. So we're going to call this guy our IR detector. Now we're going to use it as a line follower. Now here, if we zoom in a lot, well not that much, we're going to see that we have a couple of different ports. We have a VCC port, which is where we're going to put in power, our ground, which is a negative, and our out, which is our signal, depending on whether or not it sees anything in front of it. So the way we're going to wire this thing is right here, the VCC port, we are going to go straight to our power source. So that's going to be plus 5 volts if we're using an Arduino. And if we're hooking up to our Raspberry Pi in that other class, that's going to be 3.3 volts. And we'll pull that <coughs> from a voltage divider, which we will make. And I'll show you how to do that next. The middle pin. This will be our negative. This will be our ground. So I'm just going to put it down here make the little symbol for ground and this will connect to the negative. This pin here is our signal. This pin is going to send out just a high or a low signal. So we're going to get a digital high or a digital low depending on what voltage we put in it. So if we're using it for the Arduinos, we're going to get a plus 5 volts. And if we're using it on our Raspberry Pi Picos, we're going to get plus 3.3 .3 volts. And either way, it is still a high. When we have something in front of it, we'll either get our high or a low. Now, let's assume that we lost our instructions. We don't know what goes where. How are we going to figure out what goes what? Well, let's plug it in. And this is how we're going to do it. So we're going to take here, we're going to put there, that's going to be positive. We're going to use black for ground. And we're going to use yellow for signal. So now I have, let's move this out of the way. So now I have my sensor and I have three here. I need power. I happen to have some nearby. We're going to put a negative there. I'm going to put a little eraser here to add a little weight so things don't move around. Then I'm going to have plus five volts and it's on. And I'll get my eraser there to hold it. Back it up so you can see it. It's on. Now if I put my finger in front of it, it sees something and it comes on. Now the question is, what signal is coming out? What are we getting? Are we getting a high or are we getting a low? Now the way this thing works is that this thing right here is shooting out an infrared beam. And since nothing is there to reflect it, it sees nothing. However, if I put something white that reflects it, there, and it sees it. So now what's happening is this is bouncing off and it's being picked up here. This little thing right here is the sensitivity. But right now, on I see it, I see nothing, I see something. Kind of what, what's coming out of here? That's what we need to know in order to get our, our car to follow the line. So we will take our handy dandy multimeter, set it to 20 volts. We'll take this pin and hook it up to here. Our ground pin goes to our ground pin. And if we touch this pin, notice I have plus three, plus five volts. 
now I'm going to try to hold this and put something in front of it. So when I put something in front of it, it dips down to zero. So if there's nothing, I get a high signal. If there's something, I get a low signal. That's kind of important to know. High, when there's nothing. Low, when there's something. So we need to make these notes. I'm going to unplug this so we don't burn anything up. Put that away. Put that like this. Put that over here. Turn off the meter. So here we go. We know what happens. So I would like to, since I can't remember anything, so if, if I sense nothing what do I get? See, I already forgot. If I sense, if there's nothing, I get, oh. See, this is what happens. We don't write things down. So now i got to check it again. So let me check it again. I really do know. I just got to go into the motions. So there. It's back on. I'm going to write things down so I don't forget. Hook up this there. Put that over there. I'm trying to do this with one hand. There. And I'm looking at my meter, and I got nothing. And what do I get? Now, if I have something, my meter goes down to zero. So now I know. So I know that when there is nothing in front of this sensor, there's no reflection, and I'm going and I'm going to get a high signal. When there's something in front of this and it reflects it back, I'm going to get a low. So write that down. For the sensor that I'm going to give you in class, that's what's going to happen. Stay tuned for the next one.